For many years now, reputable medical schools have been conducting research on the effects of Tai Chi and Qigong on Parkinson's patients and several other health conditions. There is extensive evidence on the benefits of Tai Chi Chuan and Qigong. What is Tai Chi as opposed to Qigong? Tai Chi Chuan, properly termed, means the supreme ultimate fist. It was developed as far back as the Sung Dynasty. About 200 years ago, it experienced further development in Chen Village. Today, it is practiced mostly for its therapeutic value, although an extensive training will bring out its martial content. Qi Gong is much older, dating back to 2000 years BC. Qi Gong means breath or energy skill, also becoming more refined during the Sung Dynasty. Based on the laws of acupuncture, which revolve around the idea that all living things have magnetic energy fields. We know this to be true from our knowledge of physics. Qigong teaches how to harmonize these fields through synchronized movement and very specific breathing patterns. Certain breaths are even organ specific. These practices are effective in energizing and healing, first because of the increased oxygen intake, and secondly, due to the tension relaxation movement of the upper and lower limbs. This decreases the impact and offers a method of strengthening, stretching, mental focus, posture, and balance training that is safe and effective for the elderly and terminally ill never putting too much strain on one side. It's synchronization of upper and lower, left and right, in and out, straight and round, is the key for activating the body's energy. All systems of the body are affected. Circulatory, respiratory, muscular, nervous, skeletal, and even the digestive system because of the lower abdominal breathing that massages the internal organs and stimulates peristalsis. Walking and balance exercises will also support the foundation of the body and help reduce falling in the elderly. It is believed that the cause of all illness comes from poor flow of energy, a disharmony which is brought on by stress, negative emotions, overwork, lack of sleep, and poor dietary habits that cause the energy of the body, or the chi, to become blocked. This, in turn, causes the body's systems and organs to become tired. Eventually, when the organs become exhausted, disease, or dis-ease, sets in. The body is a battery and conductor of electricity. This is why poor hydration and pH levels are so relevant. The body conducts both positive and negative while releasing excess energy to the earth or ground. Tai Chi and Qigong target these energy pathways or meridians and encourages balance so a proper flow can be established. Emphasizing proper posture and breathing can have intense effects on illness. Like a garden hose that has been pinched, the water does not flow freely. Straighten the hose and the flow is restored. In order to expect the most profound potential effects, ongoing practice is necessary and relies on the student or patient to adopt new habits that support daily practice. Although two or three days a week will show progress, Tai Chi Chuan and Qigong should be treated like medicine and taken every day. 
In order to reap its full benefits, it must become a lifestyle, embracing other new habits, such as proper nutrition that supports the structure and foundation of the human body, mind, and spirit. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Movement is akin to life, and stillness to death. Even positive psychological benefits will be experienced. Meditation and the expansion and contraction of the lungs teaches the patient to quiet the mind and focus on only one thought for a long period of time. Both the aspiration for oxygen intake and the expiration for release of carbon dioxide are important and ensure that the lungs have cleared the stale air. With sustained practice, endorphin release will help to improve the practitioner's mental state or spirit, thus supporting the immune system. Master Rubio is heir to three of the most famous lineages in Chinese martial arts. Orthodox Northern Shaolin, Emperor Sung's Long Fist, and Taoist Hua Mountain Qigong. Neither of these lineages are taught without restriction in China today due to the Cultural Revolution. He has been involved as a transmitter of these precious gems for over four decades and has taught over 10,000 students. Men, women, and children, young and old, have been empowering their lives through his guidance since 1979. Master Rubio has launched successful protocols for Parkinson's programs, prison bridge programs, and even had one five-year HIV child show no noticeable trace of the virus after rigorous training. In conclusion, a sustained practice of Tai Chi Chuan and Qigong will help patients of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer, HIV, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune disease, ADHD, osteoporosis, and just about any health issue. The training will increase their vitality and ensure not just their survival, but rather their empowerment over these conditions. It is not a cure-all, but rather a sensible companion to modern medical protocols. It's not magic, it's just good science.